Hey everyone, I thought I would do a little bit of a um, tutorial on how to cook a barbecue chicken on the rotisserie on the Oz Pig. Um, so many of you may, might already know, but you may not. So I decided to put through a little bit of a vid just to um, show you how I do it anyway. So basically the first thing that you need to make sure that you've done with the Oz Pig is that you have the rotisserie attachment. Um, and have placed that on the pig already. So the um, components of the rotisserie attachment are these little pieces here that slot into your legs space here and then you've got another piece that slots there. You've got the actual um, battery operated rotisserie function uh, so you do need to make sure that you get batteries for that and then also with the kit comes the actual steak and um, piece that you put your piece of meat on so I, I've done other videos before where I've shown um, cooking lamb gyros um, and um, some other different types of cooking with the rotisserie um, but today I'm going to do the roast chicken so rather than just have a plain old chicken I particularly love this seasoning here the Moroccan seasoning so I'm just gonna first of all just put a dry rub all over the bird uh, it's only a very small chicken, um, which is totally fine. Plenty enough for three of us. And, uh, I mean, this is such a, a fantastic... Not only does it taste just so amazing and incredible when it's cooked this way over the pig, but um, it's such a bargain. Like, this was $3.99 from Aldi's for this bird. Like, you know, you factor in the seasoning and a little bit of side or whatever you're having on there. You cannot go past such a good cheap meal um, and just cooked beautifully with the juices flowing out as well now I'll also give you another hot tip before I truss this bird and put it on the rotisserie stick so just nice and lots of that on there so that's good what I've also done and you want to do this before you get started because it's a little bit more awkward once you've already got the bird on the um, pig. get yourself an attachment uh, we've got this which is the diffuser plate now I've popped it underneath the grill here because what will happen as the bird starts to turn around the juices will drop and it will spit up um, and you don't want the flames to come flying up too much because it will burn instead of um, cook nicely the bird so the diffuser plate just helps a lot of those flames stop from coming flying right up so back to the bird now I've already spaced it as well so make sure before you actually put it on that you test out exactly about where you're going to actually want to place it again it just gets a little bit harder if you've already done it once it's on there so we just go straight through there we go now what i like to try and do as well some people might like to use like a, a special butcher's tie or what have you to get the the hold the wings and things out of the way I like to try and pierce them because otherwise as it cooks and starts to soften up they'll fall down and get too close to the cooking process so then just grab your other same with the legs make sure you try and grab some of the leg in and, and just push it together nicely stop it from turning on the actual um, cooking section so now we just Pop it into here, like so, and then just turn it on. So I've had a fire going in the pig now for um, oh, quite a while, just trying to build up a good coal bed and a good coal base uh, and get that nice and hot. A real, just don't forget to keep it nice and stoked the whole time. You don't want it to go cold. Um, I will keep an eye on this and we'll come back to it as it cooks as well to see how long it actually takes. I'm guessing maybe about the three hour mark, um, but again, it's just gonna be sort of a bit of uh, hit and miss and, and checking as well. Um, there's a really good tip of how to check. A lot of people don't know quite how to check if your ch chicken is ready, especially when it's cooked like this on the bone, it does take a lot longer to cook. Um, so I'll come back and, and show you um, a little tip of how to know when it's cooked a bit later but we'll check back on it and uh, see how it's going after oh 
okay so uh, our roast chicken has been cooking now for about two hours and 40 minutes um, it actually looks pretty cooked and pretty ready to go um, I have sort of done a little bit of taking off the diffuser plate and letting that cook for a while under flame popping that back on so I have been quite att quite attentive at watching um, how it's cooking to pay attention and I did promise you earlier that there is a trick to actually showing when a roast chicken is cooked so this is going to be our telltale now so what you want to do is you want to do a slice hopefully this will come out in the video for you I'll try it up high first and you want to try and get like into a leg as close as you can and if the juices run clear which they're running clear then it's cooked if the juices are and and you can see if you can see in that video it's not showing any pink any signs of pink right near the bone line um, so that's pretty cooked I'll do it again down here just so you can have a look and see but when you chop into here you can see that's clear juices so that is cooked so again this was a quite a small chicken um, but that was about two hours and 40 minutes again a little bit of a combination of off the diffuser with the diffuser but always keeping the pig stoked um, but yeah we look forward to eating this um, with a nice side of anything of your choosing bit of salad I've made up a little bit of a cauliflower rice combination this evening to go with this one so hope you guys enjoy as much as we're going to